Today is an exciting day because we get to start to build the Predator Fish Cake. Let's go check out and see the progress. I can't tell you how emotional it is to see the first cement actually being broken up where the foundation are gonna go, where these enclosures are. What they're working on right now is the Stingray Tank. You get the idea how big this Stingray Tank is gonna be. It's gonna be five foot deep in all this area where you can actually get in and snorkel around with Stingrays, play with cow nose rays. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. We are definitely making progress now. You see they're making progress with busting out. This, this is another tank here, and to be totally honest with you, this was kind of like an afterthought tank. The back of the house will actually be right here where filtration and life support is. And we just thought we'd do like kind of a cool little tank here, right here, because the bathrooms are gonna be over there. The reef tank is gonna be over here. There'll be another 20 foot tank over here. So we're like, oh, well, we've got some space here. Holy moly, that is gonna be a giant enclosure right here. So matter of fact, what we might do, you might've seen Nick Bingo, a friend of mine down in Florida, is actually donating a bunch of really cool saltwater fish like grouper and a whole bunch of different things. This might be the enclosure that's gonna be perfect for that. We need lots of room, so there's that. And then lastly, we've got, of course, big predator tank over here, which is absolutely enormous. Platinum gars, albino gars. I mean, just all kinds of really cool fish. So they're gonna bust this out here too. And so basically why they're busting this out is the weight of the actual exhibit itself is just so much. It might crack the floor, So right? they bust this out and put rebar actually into the existing cement all around, all the way through it, and then pour a concrete foundation. And that way the actual tank doesn't break the floor. I mean, yeah, no, I didn't even think that was gonna be an Option. When I got the place, I thought that I would be able to just put tanks right on here, not realizing. So again, that's another huge expense that we're going to have to have to put all this down. But you got to do it because what you don't want to have happen is the tanks to be the down. Floor to crack. Then now you've got the tank shifting a little bit. Now that's when you get seams, leaks, and all kinds of stuff. And then at the same time, we have the siding still going up outside. Now they're starting to work on the insulation here. So this is all going to be insulated up here and then insulated on the other side. So things are moving along quick now. In the next you know week or so, it's going to be crazy. It's speaking of a week all this has to be done because my buddy eric who's actually building some of the exhibits the predator the stingray that big tank over there some touch tanks the koi pond he's going to be here next week starting they're going to be here for about a month it's going to take them about a month to build all these exhibits but all these exhibits are going to be up within a month in that month we're going to have all kinds of other tanks getting shipped in and set not to mention a ton of reptile enclosures going in walls going up i mean this next month is going to be ridiculous yeah. Yeah. how cute oh this my God, guy the is alligators. And it's not yours, Dad. It's mine. Can I have it? It's no, so you can't. It's you always really tell good. me no. Oh Garden my State. God. Garden State. Chris, Casey, thank you so much for hooking me up. So cute. Wow, baby. that thing is cute. Can you oh imagine God. that being a Bowser? I mean, Bowser I at one point was this little. And this is actually probably twice the size of a baby. So uh, it's already grown quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. Wow, that is beautiful. Do you know if it's a boy or girl? I don't know. Do you see across the street they're doing insulation? Yeah, what is it? Dad! Dad! This is Brian. Stole That's your mine! Girl. You might have seen the video where we got all the koi from Ohio Fish Rescue. If you didn't, I'll put a card up here. You can watch that video. I love the fact that we have koi here now. We actually brought this insert right here too. Now it needs a little bit of refurbishing and touching up and brightening up and stuff like that. But inserts are super expensive. I mean, they're really, I mean, something like this brand new is probably like $7,000, six, $7,000. So we have a lot of need for inserts and we're building a lot of inserts for all these enclosures. But this is one that they brought that will just refurbish a little bit and it'll go somewhere. Not even sure where it's gonna go but I have to take it. Wow! Look at that, dude! I'm gonna assume they're cutting these for the tank. You grab one. Alright, do you know what this is? Oh. No. You know what that reminds me of? Women? Yeah. It's a little lot, we're gonna go outside. Watching you eat that brownie like killed me a little bit inside because I'm so hungry right now. So Connie hasn't been over here to see the fish yet. No, I haven't seen the koi yet. This is really 
really cool. They're huge. There's a big one. And I can see that they're already forming clicks. Like that's the cool people, like the nerds. And then those are the jocks, you know? Anyway, guys, so that's really cool to see. I mean, they're getting a lot of work done, so it really, it's gonna be a crazy, crazy dramatic change of what you see now compared to what it looks like midway through November. I, I've never seen anybody cut through concrete. It's a little loud. It's a little loud. It's a little scary. I felt like I shouldn't be walking around in there. I think I already found my favorite koi. Which one is it? Oh, so you is it see? No, not that one. Oh. Uh, whoa, that one's cute. That's a jock koi right so there. So you see the koi right there coming up. It's got more black on its back and then white on its side. Tell me that doesn't look like Perdita. Uh, if Perdita was a fish. Exactly. How cool is it to see the outside coming together? We have about three quarters of the building with the blue, the color that is actually gonna be. Of course, there's a protecting paper that will rip off once it's done, but the gold is starting to go up on top too. You can start to see how beautiful it is. The contrast between the blue and the gold looks absolutely incredible. Won't be long before they have the entire soffit finished with gold. Then we have to finish the blue on that side and then wrap the actual silver where the doors are. So the outside is definitely coming together, but I'm more interested in what's happening on the inside. Oh my gosh. First off, are we supposed to have on hard hats? Secondly, it really sucks that I can't swim though because I'll probably never get to swim with the stingrays. I think that he said it's like five feet tall. And I'm almost six foot, which leaves me like four inches. Definitely drowning water, but super excited. This is crazy. And that, I think that we make this the mermaid tank. Aren't we getting one of those? Everything going good? So far. So, it's good. You guys are doing a great job. Tanks are starting to get done, but look at the ceiling is going up here. So obviously we have to drywall this entire ceiling. And ultimately what's gonna go up here after they're done with the drywall will be kind of a metal slatting, like a black metal slatting. It'll look really, really sleek. So it's cool to see the ceiling finally going but up. This is what I really wanna show you. Take a look at this right here. This is the Predator fish tank right here. Holes here are basically where the viewing panels are, right? So these will be encapsulated with like cement, you know, cool theming. And then there'll be a viewing panel, a viewing panel, a viewing panel, big viewing panel right here. And then again, a viewing panel and a viewing panel. It just is so cool to see it go up. So basically what's gonna happen now is they'll come in to lay the cement down. And basically this wood area is actually the size of the pond itself. Again, it's like 17,000 gallons, five foot tall, 12 and a half foot deep and 25 foot long. I mean, it's gonna be cool. Arapaima, arowana, red tail catfish. I mean, just a bunch of predator fish. But now we have to have the foundation poured, which is gonna happen later today. And once that's poured, we're gonna actually have the guys come start theming and actually building out the actual pond itself. So Probably in the next week or so, we may see the first exhibit done, which is the predator fish pond. We also have the stingray pond getting done too. You can see the cutout here where the foundation goes. Boards are what the actual pond, the size is gonna be. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. And again, viewing panels. Just think about how cool this is gonna be. This giant viewing panel of stingrays. You know, it's gonna be cow nose rays, so saltwater cow nose rays. And there'll be a staircase on this side where you can actually get in. This is the one that you can go snorkeling with and kind of interacting with stingrays. It's gonna be really, really amazing. This is the pond that's being there. Again, we'll have the foundation poured later on today so that it's ready for when the crew shows up to start building. It's gonna be cool. Again, theming these poles out. Cannot wait to get this going. It's uh, again, predator fish pond, stingray pond, and then there's one more. They're huge. They're Perdita fish. It looks exactly like Perdita. <laughs> I'm freaking a different bridge than this. Oh God. Get, oh, holy crap. I, I haven't mean, even been in here once. No, you haven't? No, just a blueprint. Yeah, and now to see it come alive is nuts. Oh, no shoot. Sorry, no way. Is it gonna be the swimming with stingray spot? Yeah. I honestly can't wait to see that happen. I can't wait for people to have that experience. It's gonna be so cool. I can't hear you. What? You wanna go outside? <laughs> Literally amazing to see
see how much this place has come along, even in the course of a few months. It literally looks like a new facility. This is my first and only time I've ever been in there. So to see how far this has come from a regular store, I guess, to what it is now is absolutely astronomical. How far we're going to be progressing in the next few months. 100%, and I'm just excited. For Rillo getting a new enclosure, salt and pepper getting a new enclosure, the capybara gets bunk with Matilda. It's gonna be such a cool experience just to see everything. And swimming with stingrays and the sharks are gonna be something I'm really interested in. This is gonna be a pretty big pond as well. I think it's gonna be somewhere about 15,000 gallons when it's done. And we'll have reef tanks over there. I mean, it's getting crazy. Finally starting to see exhibits being built rather than just talking about it. And to see the kind of you know, shape of everything, it's just freaking wild, man. I cannot believe that next week we actually start building these enclosures in here and then we start just going from here. It's happening quick now, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.